the One Piece Nation here today with my review of One Piece chapter 854. Let's get into the review. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the two main events of the chapter, pretty much. Okay, the first main event is the reunion between Chopper. There's a lot of characters, so I'll have to make sure I get it right. But Chopper, Carrot, Jinbei, Nami, and Pedro. I believe that's the entire group. So all of them are together. They're all in the mirror world. They reunited. So with this awesome theme before they reunited where Nami used the Thundercloud tempo and she took out a ton of the guards, that was really cool. Like, whenever Nami does something in a fight, some kind of like a sense move like that, I get excited because I like Nami. So it's exciting to see her actually do something. I mean, hell, the one time she's been useful recently was in the fight with Cracker, and we didn't get to see her be useful. We know she was useful because we were told about it, but we skipped half of it. So that was upsetting. But that's an old chapter, old critique, whatever. But, th okay, so they reunite, and they start talking about what they're going to do, and how they just need to get Brooke, and Luffy, and Sonny. Now let's talk about Brooke for a minute. So Big Mom has decided that she doesn't want to put Brooke in a prison cell or in the museum. She's gonna carry Brooke around with her. So, what does this mean for the future of this arc? It means there is going to be some kind of confrontation with Big Mom now. Like, if they want to get Brooke back, unless he can escape freaking Big Mom on his own, they are going to need to fight Brooke. Fight, fight Big Mom. Or somehow get Brooke away. That's going to be very interesting. I had no idea. Now, there was another thing in this chapter we saw with Big Mom. It wasn't really anything new. I, I don't want to call it filler. It was just kind of Big Mom talking about her plan. Like, saying what was going to happen. We, she explained how it would happen. That Big Sanji... Well, yeah, she kind of explained what we already knew, but just solidified it. So we know now that while Sa when Sanji takes off a veil and goes into kiss pudding, Zack was she gonna shoot him, and then everybody else at the wedding will take out of this moment. We we so nothing new. It would kinda just like make Big Mom and Pudding look like massive bitches and tell us what they're planning. That was what this chapter was. I had nothing else to say on the matter, that's what it was. Now, that kind of Okay, I didn't like that because we knew a lot of it. Like, that easily, we, Oda didn't need, that bothered me. Oda didn't need to tell us Big Mom plan. Like, you don't need to tell us that you're going to shoot when you would go, when you plan on shooting Sanji. We get, we get that while he's about to get an arrow to pudding, he'll let a guard down for a period of time, and they can shoot him. We get it. We're not freaking stupid. That, I'll be honest, that was kind of a waste of panel time. But at the same time, and what is nice to have confirmation, 100% confirmation, Big Mom is a bit. In case for people who didn't already believe that. But now let's talk about the Sanji part. Because there's this amazing part with Sanji. He's just sitting there. Sanji, give it up. Sanji is done. Sanji's like, my life. I am done. I do not give a shit. Sanji's ready to die. Pretty much. He's ready to die. And this is where things get interesting. Sanji's sitting there, and he had the basket of food he prepared for pudding. Which, just to remind people, when he made the food a couple chapters ago, he prepared it like he was preparing a lunchbox for the whole crew. It had tangerine, hamburgers, meat, and I, and I, I had all the Straw Hat favorite stuff. I just listed a few because I only I don't know all of their favorite few foods off the top of my head, but I know most of them. I'm actually probably going to review that during lunch tomorrow at school or something. I'll review their favorite foods. I should know that on the one big reviewer. I should know. Not like that, but whatever. But um yeah, so that was a really nice scene. So Bob and Feinstein said, Aren't you supposed to be in your room? Oh look at this food. He like grabbed the food. And Donnie's like, Don't touch that meat. 
he got the flat back to Lucy being like, I won't eat and he let you cook me food. He kicked Bob in the face and he runs off and he's gonna go find Luffy. And they're gonna go to their promised place. Okay. How do I feel about the ending of the chapter? Finally, Sanji's no longer acting like a five-year-old little girl bit. My god. In my entire time span of reading this series, I had never had an arc centered around the character and been so disappointed in them. I've been really holding off making a video on it, but when I do, my, I'm going to be doing a couple arcs, a couple videos about the whole Cake Island arc when it ends. And one of my biggest problems would be arguing Nanji the complete, total, pathetic little pussy. I mean, the whole, you know, death, oh my god. It's like, at first it was really sad, but eventually it was kind of like, okay, dude, this is getting a little ridiculous. Do something. Like, he found out the handcuffs were fake, and he still didn't do anything. So it gets to the point where I'm like, this is... I'm happy about it, I expected it to happen, but I'm also kind of like, it took a way too long to get to the point where Sanji was like, I'm gonna meet up with Luffy. It took too long to get to that point, but that is of course, just my opinion. So, if I had to rate the chapter, you know what? I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It was, it was, it was a lot of, prof, it was a lot of pro, plot progression in this chapter. Everybody finally reunited. Donnie's on the way to meet up with Luffy. We got we finally got confirmation about how big Mom plans on killing the Vince Smokes. So yeah, that's about it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you enjoyed. Also, quick little programming note. I have a live stream. I may not be One Piece. I'll talk about One Piece. But I'm probably going to do like a chill gaming Skyrim live stream tomorrow. Maybe when I'm at for it, maybe not, depends on if I can get them on. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more One Piece reviews. I do these every week. And I'll talk, and I may do a live stream, a live stream at some point talking about last week's chapter. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Especially, you gotta tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comments. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Link to both of those are in the description box down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. It's the One Piece Nation, signing out.